Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Before classes got underway last Thursday morning at Elkhorn City Elementary School, students and faculty found themselves in a lockdown situation. Elkhorn City Police Chief Bobby Sexton says law enforcement was called after 50-year-old Melissa Cantrell allegedly assaulted a female instructional aide at the school. She became uh, violent, had a verbal confrontation, which became physical, grabbed the employee by the neck, leaving marks, threatening to kill her. Cantrell had left the school when police arrived and initial attempts to locate her were unsuccessful. Chief Sexton obtained arrest warrants, but Cantrell eluded law enforcement until Sunday night when troopers responded to a call at her residence. At around uh, 10.30 Sunday night, Kentucky State Police uh, responded to a welfare check of her residence in which uh, when they ran her information, the warrant was verified for Ms. Cantrell. They made an arrest. Melissa Cantrell is charged with third-degree assault and second-degree terroristic threatening both Class D felonies, punishable by one to five years in prison. Any other circumstances, had it been on private property or something, it would have been uh, you know, criminal complaint or misdemeanor charges, but because of the situation and the location that this happened on, and specifically uh, what we're dealing with now with the whole school system and the threats, uh, it just it booted the charges up to felony charges. So it was, it was a terrible decision on her part. Cantrell was released Monday afternoon after posting a $1,000 full cash bond. A preliminary hearing has been set for March 15th at 1 p.m. In Elkhorn City, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.